Good day and welcome to SEO Bricks Insight where we look at what's really going on in the world of the bricks. Now at the dawn of the new millennium, Germany launched an ambitious plan to transform the country's energy sector from fossil fuel fired power stations to renewable energy generation. Now the energy transition programme initiated a major expansion of solar and wind power with the aim of reducing carbon emissions by 25% by 2022 compared to 2002 levels. Now this target has been met according to a recent analysis over the last 20 years published in the Journal of Sustainable Energy, Energy Wind. It shows that the construction of new renewable energy plants has renew, reduced pollution by the certain percentage, but at what cost? Well, it wanted the best, but it turned out to be the same as a load of bullshit like all the other harebrained schemes of the green lunatics. Investment in alternative energy has now totaled more than 600 billion euros. Of course, clean air and blooming gardens, etc. cost money. However, according to calculations by scientists published in the same journal show, if the German authorities and politicians had not gone along with the pseudo-environmentalists and green lunatics and invested the same amount of money in building nuclear power plants and not shutting down the old ones, the savings and emissions would have been exactly the same and the industry would have received over 300 billion euros worth of energy in financial terms, and that's more. Plus the cost of the building the new plants would be 30% of the cost of what windmills and solar panels have cost. Also, the environment would not have suffered at all. In fact, it would be better off with 73% less carbon dioxide being emitted in the atmosphere than it would be today, assuming the construction of these nuclear power plants. And yeah, do bear in mind, according to the EU, nuclear power is clean energy. So in effect, what these politicians have done has been a complete waste of money. But more to the point, it's enriched a few companies with so-called green subsidies while making the people pay exorbitant amounts of money to heat their homes. Now, before I continue, I'd like to make an appeal. If you like and enjoy my videos, you can help me fund the channel and my website, seobricksinsight.com, and further develop it. You can do this by making a small donation, which can be done by clicking on the thanks button at the bottom of the video screen. Everybody who donates does get a personal thank you from me, and I'm thanking all of you who are watching this video now. Now, it's known that nuclear power plants uh, emit six grams of CO2 into the atmosphere during the entire production cycle of one kilowatt hour. Germany tries and has tried not to talk about this. I mean, wind turbines, it's 11 grams of CO2 per kilowatt and solar panels is 80 grams of CO2 per kilowatt. So they don't compare very favorably now, do they? Moreover, nuclear power plants are very stable and a reliable source of electricity on the grid. And in difficult meteorological conditions, i.e. weather, nighttime, cloudy weather or complete darkness, you need coal-fired power stations, 820 grams, and gas turbines, 420 working, if you don't want to plunge the country into total darkness. Of course, this would shatter all the dreams and illusions of the green energy transition overnight. But blackouts are not a theoretical threat, but a situation that Germany has been facing several times in winters over the last few years. Now, nuclear power is much cheaper than coal or gas, but the Greens also prefer to keep quiet about this. Or if somebody suddenly points out data confirming the safety of nuclear power plants, they immediately attack them with uh, cries of Chernobyl, Fukushima. Now bear in mind that Chernobyl was caused by human failures and people ignoring the safety procedures. And the Fukushima problem was not the earthquake itself, but the tsunami that it unleashed that caused the destruction of the plant. And I do think it's unlikely there's going to be a massive earthquake unleashing a gigantic tsunami anytime soon in downtown Stuttgart. Of course, if you point this out uh, and persist, you're told to remember by the Greens Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which to put it bluntly, have got nothing to do with peaceful nuclear energy. But it is possible to scare the public with, or oh, what if this happened with references to tragedies. And if you're good enough at bullshit, which the Greens are experts at, and perverting the facts and telling untruths, you'll resort to anything. Now, 
Back in 2002, nuclear power provided a fifth of Germany's electricity, and now 22 uh, years later, it provides none. And non-specialists might think that cheap wind and solar power could simply fill the gap, but it ain't that simple. Once up and running, nuclear reactors provide reliable, affordable, baseload power, electricity that's available all the time, 24-7. The problem with renewables is they're intermittent and they can't compete with nuclear stability. And an advanced, or at least it was an advanced economy like Germany, needs a 100% reliable electricity grid. Fossil fuel power stations by coal, natural gas have now been brought online to make up for the lack of wind and solar that is currently happening in Germany. In other words, they wanted the best, but it turned out to be more of the same, to paraphrase the classic. The end result of German politicians' short-sightedness in phasing out the nuclear power is they have a much more expensive grid. I mean, Jan Emlitzvag, who's a professor of civil engineering at NTNU in Norway and the author of the analysis, was curious and he imagined another scenario. What if the Germans had used the money they spent on expanding renewables to build new nuclear capacities? According to his calculations, they'd have cut carbon emissions by another 73% on top of their 2022 cuts, while saving at $330 billion compared to the huge cost of energy vined. Now, politicians in other countries seeking to decarbonise their grid should take note, particularly in the UK, where I know some of you are watching this video are from. Your politicians are going down the same path and as mad, rad, mad red Ed Miliband, the man who lost a fight with a bacon sandwich and somebody who's never had a proper job, is now in charge of destroying what's left of Britain's energy system. Now let's compare uh, what's happened in Germany with the US. I mean, the US has suddenly discovered uh, it likes nuclear power and has started to rehabilitate it years after it being demonised. I mean, obviously the US has been watching the German experiment, in fact I think it was partly not only watching it, but it pushed Germany towards its nuclear phase out. I mean it set an example starting to shut down some of its own reactors. I mean between 2012 and 2022 the US shut 12 nuclear power plants with a total capacity of 9,436 megawatts were closed. Now nuclear power in the US currently provides about 25% of the country's electricity a year. And it has done for more than 50 years, adding 95,522 megabytes to the grid. I mean, the US is actually the highest number of nuclear power plants in the world with 93. And that number, you can show concern for nuclear safety by shutting down one or two reactors and showing your vassal partners in Germany, oh, you, we are shutting down plants. You can do the same. I mean, American analysts in general are always coming up with interesting schemes to make life difficult for their Western Bloc partners and they make them that so they can slow down their technological progress and their economic development. I mean, there's no direct evidence of this, but indirectly you can just look at the development of the situation in the recent years. I mean, rising energy prices in, uh, in Europe were the result of the Russian gas rejection by the EU and the blowing up of the Nord Stream uh, pipelines in the process. And who gets that? Well, the, the Americans start selling their expensive LNG. And in the process, large German companies move from their homeland to countries overseas like Asia and where else but the US. When they go to the US where the production costs are lower and the goods produced in the USA remain competitive. Now the growth of the industry in the US and the resulting need to increase energy production will allow the White House to justify its decision to restart the previously closed nuclear reactors. I mean they've now started to provide financial assistance to power plants uh, following government approval to restart reactors at the Pacific Palisades plant, which is expected to start operating again in 2025. I mean, the Biden administration has so cold commitment to green energy has supported the idea of actually building new plants. I mean, no one seems to remember the Three Mile Island uh, accident, which happened seven years before Chernobyl. That's already been down the memory hall. And it's just another justification for returning to the development of nuclear power. 
I mean, they've, the White House is now turned to the environmental friendliness of nuclear power plants and the need to move away from fossil fuels and make energy greener. And as we can see, nuclear power is a peculiar thing. It makes the environment worse, but it also makes it better. No wonder it's uh, such a contradiction. Anyway, all the opinion polls have been based on what's your pleasure. It means that the research is not leading to a result, but the result, a desired result, is what shapes the research. You get the answer to fit the one that you're looking for, and that's the way that they, all these environmentalists look at it. I mean, the public perception of nuclear power is uh, particularly positive and it's growing in recent decades as long as you don't build it in their neighbourhood. Now, Palisades private owner, Holtec International, hopes to start the uh, Palisades plant at the end of 2025 because it's, it's kind of happy. It got $1.5 billion from the Department of Energy in the US and another $300 million from the state of Michigan. So this reflects a shift in US policy in favour of nuclear power. I mean, everybody's looked at the assessments of nuclear power generation uh, and you know, knows it's the safest form of energy. It's also clean and abundant, no it's oil price. Uh, so Germany will continue to invest money in the development of power plants that produce electricity by burning lots of euro notes. The 600 billion euros that they've literally burned has not taught them anything. So that's the folly of following the Germans, uh, following their mad greens and their unscientific crusade against fossil fuels and common sense. Meanwhile, back in here in Russia, my heating will be switched on in three weeks time and it will be on full blast for the next six months and all that less than the cost of Heating for a month in the UK. My sympathies to those of you who are paying high heating bills in the UK. Um, now thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, you can help me fund the channel and the website seobricksinsight.com by clicking on the thanks button at the bottom of the screen. Do share and do comment. I love getting your comments. So please get onto the comment section and let me know what you think and uh, what your opinions are. Thank you.